Sorry. Thanks for everybody for joining the call or watching the replay. I appreciate that you take the time to learn something what I just think is unbelievable. So it's it has been created within three weeks, but actually the last week we came up with something what will really blow your mind. But how uh, Sales Dynamite Jack works is that it's connected to Bizlead Finder. You upload the leads and you email them. But would it not be cool that you instantly could show a customer's website? Before you just walk in, you enter some basic information and it comes across as their website. So, let me get things ready, okay? I haven't prepared a lot, but I'm going to do that. So, because I'm going to prepare, you have also an idea what to do. So, first I want to install the latest uh, version. Do that, and I'm doing that via the installer plugin. And I go to uh, Team Jack. License and submit. Then go to the header, and now you see three sections three, two, one. What does that mean? So, if it is one section, boom, you have this whole area as one big image. Some people like that. Default is three section. You have the logo, the mid section, and the colors button. So, um, because of that, some company names can be long. It is nicer that you show the company name on one line. So we divide it. And this is one section, and this is one section, two section. If we, if I refresh this, you will see. Oh, when there is no BR in it. Uh, two, oh, when I select two sections, you see that? When I select two se se sections and I'm going to refresh. So now it fits on one line. You see this? So that's already better. Now somebody was so smart smarter than me, then um, have that company name a little bit more stand out and he uh, put some styling code to it. Uh, let me do that quickly. And guys, I know, I, I hope you understand I didn't prepare because I want you to see me struggling so you learn from the from the things I do. And get the code. Where's that code? Uh, installer. I thought I had it here. Mm -hmm. Website. Actions. So let me go to Skype. And I know it... He put it in Skype. Uh, Gary, where are you? Oh. What are you guys seeing at the moment? Mid screen. Looks at Plumber Side Center. Okay. I'm just getting some code and then I will show you what the code is. Um, let's uh, scroll back a little bit more. I thought I put it in a text file but I didn't. And I wanted to do it live so you guys could do it the same as I do it. 
So give me a minute. It's part of the live demonstration. Okay, I found the code. Uh, not yet. Uh, hey, I found the code. Okay, let me copy that and go to the back end. And here I have H2 strong company name. Company name is the company name from this prospect. You see that? But I want to show it a little bit nicer. So if you do some styling work around this, like this, And, oh no, I uh, deleted the, uh, okay, you see the company name is Fitz Patrick Roofing. I will change that in a second. And now let me open a new screen. And now this company name looks a little bit nicer. You see, we had this. And now it has some more styling. Everybody like that new styling? It's uh, just... Uh, now that styling has a fixed name. Now we have to fix that. Um, so let me put that code in the... in the chat box. And can we still do the logo? Yeah, but I, uh, I think you might able to do the logo and the text below that. That is possible, but I don't like it so much, but that is possible. So then you go to general contact. And then you see this uh, company name. Company name. You see that? Short code. And you go back to header. And instead of a fixed company name, oh, you should have this uh, short code. You see, you better take this uh, this code because that other one, what I just uh, entered, had um, a fixed company name. Okay, now if you do this and refresh, then it will show your default company if I don't have a URL. So the default company is your plumper company. But if I want to show that to the contact and say, you see, your plumber company, so your plumber ABC company, then if I refresh that, then uh, you see that? That's your default one. I did put the code in the dashboard, so if you don't receive it, then it's probably on the mobile. So I will put that code uh, on the replay. So, everybody with me so far? Uh, well done, Jack, said Gary. <laughs> he, he, he probably means I have to thank Gary one more time. Everybody applause for Gary. He figured that out. And he was uh, uh, nice to share that with us. So Gary, everybody is, is applauding now for you. So, that's step number one. But uh, you want to uh, see the amazing stuff? Uh, so... Let me set it up, the amazing stuff, and then uh, I have to copy this in a notepad, and then I go to pages, uh, where is pages now, pages, add new one. I call this form and 
put short code in it and publish. Okay, I want everybody, I want everybody go to this, the, the site slash form on your mobile device. Form. Okay. I put it uh, in this in the everybody see it now in the in the in the screen. So it is IBIS leads slash plumber slash form. Okay, everybody see this? The the URL is in the chat box. IBIS leads plumber form. S say yes or no if you have it. Okay, put that on your tablet, okay, if you can. With your tablet, your mobile phone, you walk in, you don't walk in with your computer. Now, you see what you have now? This is the, this is the back end moved to the front end. So, I can enter here information like I put it in the back end. And once I have put that information on the front end, it will show nicely. So, give me an example so you know that it's not uh, played. What should I put as company name? Uh, web T Titan Titan. Z plumbing, plumbing. Okay, I got that part. The phone, phone number. Nine five four. Hey, nine five nine four one. I was close. Nine four one. Four two one. Six five six four. Okay, street address one two three. Dear born, born street. I hope that exists. City. Uh, City uh, build, I don't know, I don't know, is this, uh, which city is this in? I'm Angle, in, I'm Englewood, okay. State, Florida. Okay, it doesn't matter so much, this does matter. So, uh, info, info, that doesn't matter so much email, but you see what I'm doing now? I'm entering that uh, business information in the front end, plumbing. Okay, so let me save this. Oh, there are an option. Save it. If I want to save it now, it doesn't probably do. But if I want to sa save it now, I can save it as a prospected URL, or I can save it as the real website information. So let me save it as Sales Dynamite Jack, because that is what you probably do, and click on Save and View. Okay, now the company name is changed, the phone number is changed, the map is changed if that was a real address. Everything is changed. So now you can walk in the door and show it on your tablet. So I hear a comment. The company name is not some nice uh, uh, mobile friendly. Okay, so Gary, you get one clap last. So, but I will fix it, okay? But you got the point. So Everybody get it how quickly you can uh, customize 
your demo website just before you walk in. Isn't that cool? There's no reason, no reason why you cannot sell a website. There's no reason. You just show it on the tablet, okay? You, what you do is you go to your demo URL and you, you, what you do is you go to the page, form, okay? And you're back to the form and you just, just, uh, just enter that information. They don't know what you're doing, you know? They don't, that form is not, you just remember which page it is. Is this ready to go for all niches? No. I will address that, but, uh, okay, you mean the first have to configure my demo site, correct? Yeah, I will, I will come back to that, okay? So, you see this form, there is one more thing. Everybody want to see the next thing? There's one more. I still have one more. Okay? You see how this form now looks like? Everybody has a good view? So I'm going to create a new page. Instead of form, I'm going to create setup. Setup. Everybody can remember setup. Set up. You can name it actually how, how you want. But you but you put a setup wizard jack on it. Okay? Then I go to the same website and instead of form I go to slash setup. And now you say Jack, what is the difference? Now you scroll down and now you have access to the table, you see? You can edit information what you just entered. So this is with table and this is without table. So if you make a typo or whatever, or you want to change information, you have access to it. So you don't need to go to, um, to log in the WordPress site and you change things around if you make typos or things looks not that good. So you just go you go to the setup page and let's say I want to change that uh, Titan plumbing, you click on edit and when you click on edit the fields get filled out and say the phone number, hey man you you put you enter the phone number is not uh, four but it's an eight, okay? You you can still decide if you want to show it by local team jack in the in the in the back end or a sales dynamic. I will show that later. You click on save, and now the phone number is changed to an eight. Okay. Okay. So I got some questions. Why do I need to call that page setup? The answer is you don't. You can call it after your own name. But to make things easy for me, I call this shortcode setup wizard jack. So I call that page setup. So I can remember it. I don't need to remember it. But you can call it Roger1, Roger2, and Roger707. Uh, and then with all pages, you go to uh, form and you just create that form page and you put that demo of that shortcode on it. There's nothing to do on the right. Just create a new page and put a shortcode on it. Everybody get this? And you probably know, Jack, where is that shortcode? Because I cannot read your screen. So you go to all pages and go to, oh no, sorry, you go to Team Jack. Then you go to contact and you scroll down. And those are all the short codes we have um, uh, we have defined. And the, 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 those are the short codes 
we speak about of sales dynamic jack is a set of wizard so set up means changing you know if you just installed a new WordPress team and you want to quick enter new information which actually was uh, Tim uh, Parker idea so uh, I have to give him some credit and he gets even more credit to put me under pressure to get it quickly done for you and then there's an, another short code uh, demo wizard jack so there are two short codes demo wizard jack which does not have the edit table which you know if you are informed with uh, on with your with your customer you don't want to show the edit table do you, do you guys see that if you are with yourself you know you, pro you you it's okay to see the edit table so you go to your setup page or maybe whatever you call that page and those short codes does all the work for you. So, if you have um, a tablet and you show it to your friend or whatever, they will say, hey, I don't know how you do that, but it's unbelievable, and it is. Okay? So, what I wanted to say is one more thing. There's an option. I don't know if I show it here. You, you guys see it? Sales Dynamite Jack and Local Team Jack. Everybody get this, what, they, what, what, what that means? Because I had, to, I had to explain Gary a couple of times. And he's my test body. <laughs> so, Sales Dynamite Jack. So, if it is Sales Dynamite Jack, the data get entered here. You see this? It get entered here, like a prospected URL. Okay? If you select local team jack, then the data get entered here. That is becomes the default information. Everybody get that? If you select local team jack, it gets entered as the basic information. If you select sales dynamic jack, it gets entered in the database here. That's the finally I get it, said uh, Gary. Oh, I get it now. Good. Glad I was able to show you that. And I'm glad Gary asked all me those questions so I'm prepared. So, there's one more thing. <laughs> you, you guys want to hear the third thing? Are you, don't you guys have headache already? We are 24 minutes and I show you already so many things. So, I have decided, so let, let me, let me start uh, a little bit uh, thing. So, you might be wondering, Jack, when I work in our plaza or whatever, there are, there are 50 different companies. And I only see plumber. You are correct. So that means you have to set up 50 different niches. You are correct. So I have decided that I will do that for you. On the IBIS leads domain, I will install all the niches. And I will make a page like overview, like IBIS leads slash overview, that it shows all the niches and you, when you walk in in a business you just can select that niche and use it uh, use it uh, the form you know and probably you want to use the uh, the, the sales dynamic jack option 
because that is that is customized for your for your for your prospect okay so what does that include for you you don't need to set up all the 140 niches you don't have to have any experience how to do that for 141 um, all the all the images I will show a little demo uh, sign on it that it is for demo and I have to be I have talked today have talked about that today okay I have talked about is that now so bad that on an image shows demo and I came actually to the conclusion it can benefit you because uh, yeah carry it I, I will do that because if you um, um, have shown demo then you can charge extra let's say hey this is a demo site which we I use uh, for you but you have your own images of course your own your own about us or so so before I create I hand over this website I will customize it for you everybody get that so you you don't come across over over one kind uh, you know everything the same you can say it has demo in it that is my typical demo site but you can charge extra and you come across more valuable that you say once I hand over uh, the website I will customize it for you even more so customize has an interpretation that you can charge more so in case you do not want to set up your own website uh, I I will do that for you I there will be an overview like I baseleads.com slash overview it has not been created yet but it will you can click on it you see all the niches so you don't need to remember what is the URL from plumber what's the URL from Rover what's the URL for this you just go to that overview file you uh, overview page you click on it the website opens you you go to slash form you uh, uh, and you and you just uh, I got so many questions I cannot even answer my story <laughs> but I think you got the point okay what if, what if I want Irish demos replicated to my domain uh that that might that might that might be an option i don't know how uh, if that works so you want to you want to uh, use ibis leads but you want to show your own domain is that what you ask so i have to study it it it, it, it might even possible that's actually the very smart idea So I uh, I will uh, I will study on it. I don't know if it works with the demo URL. So I have to I I I'm going to uh, I uh, I I'm going to study it, and uh, if it's possible, I'm you can white label it. Okay. So then you can have your own domain name and you can more or less white label. It's not 100% white label because you still have other people using it and if they're using other phone number, but it's, I want you to go out and start and don't have excuses. 
you know that is what I want I want you to be able to sell websites and that you get money in okay what would happen if two of us uh, um, would um, seems doing the same niche as long it, it doesn't matter because the the prospect URL is different if you would change if you would change local team jack if you would change this that would make a difference okay if you work with sales dynamo jack it wouldn't make uh, a difference so if you prospect and you use ibis leads you um, you use your sales dynamo jack so to be honest i think it works for 99 percent and i i don't have experience with it you know so i it's all new and I don't see any reason why and if you have some uh, problems just let me know and we solve it but I think if you have a tablet then uh, okay I must get a tablet yeah it's you will you will earn that tablet the same day back. So if two hundred dollars or whatever. Why not a laptop? That's possible too, but it's it's uh, I would not uh, move on a laptop uh, around, but it's possible. If you know, if you don't have and tablet but you do have a laptop so go around with the laptop okay and make some money and then you and then you might willing to, to buy a tablet you know no you can also do this on the smartphone yes what is a good tablet actually uh, Actually, start start uh, start an an uh, an an question on the in the Facebook group. Okay, I did that for my mouse and my keyboard, and you never know what uh, what 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 people. And I I I rather believe your guys your guys experience than uh, than other people's review. So some some people say now Samsung Galaxy Nexus all the way. So Apple iPad, but not everybody can afford an Apple iPad. So my my wife loves it, especially the screen, but it's very expensive, I think. Six hundred dollars, yes, and and a normal and and an, and an you have version that you only have to pay two hundred dollars so it's and our money is relative I'm just saying it it's 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 more expensive than the other brands so isn't it Dino Jack sending emails out of lead finder Jack to people that already have a website that's possible okay I'm just saying that with this form um, feature you can work in almost any business and show them how their information looks on your nice website very easily so there's an other prospecting method <coughs> and with this form you see this is this is it cannot it cannot be easier than this that is what I think this, I, I, I cannot make it simpler this doesn't exist I never you know I, to be honest 
I don't check WHO that often anymore, okay? But I don't think it exists. So if you say uh, somebody else had the same, that's possible. I haven't seen it. But I, I'm not aware. Nope, there is not. You are the first, okay? So, and I have to say, we, we need to thank uh, Tim because, um, and Gary. Tim w w pushed me to... Uh, pushed me to do the local team jack entry and Gary wanted the sales dynamo jack. Why use the lo local team jack option? What is the benefit of this form? You can, I, I don't think you were in the beginning of this uh, training, but you can enter business information instantly. Dennis said we, we have one hell of a group, yes. And I'm pleased with that. Which niches will it work with? Any niche. But I have to set it up. I have to set it up. And that my goal is by, by end of the week. But as you know, I have some more things to do. So, but that's my goal. And I didn't want to delay this introduction because it is so powerful. So, with that said, I don't want uh, you guys waiting on, on Tammy more because what she has to present is... Uh, is... Uh, Uh, is incredible. So let me copy uh, Tim's at the uh, yeah. Let me copy Tim's note so I can inform the coder for that. I don't forget. But I hope you have seen how easy this is. So it, let me find Tammy. And make, Tammy, I'm going to make you organizer. Or let me first uh, make or make uh, presenter. That's I think it's fine. Of can make organizer. Okay, Tammy. Let's see. Unmute you. I try. Yeah. Do you hear me, Tammy? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Everybody hears Tammy. Okay, so, in the meantime, the sorry. Oh, I'm just okay. Um, so, in the meantime, um, you, who of you guys were on that first first training, um, first training with Tammy, where she uh, introduced, you know, the 15 most important things of a website. That presentation. And, of course, I had trust in Tammy before that, but your guy's response was so uh, so big, so, so good. And um, I decided, and I wanted it very badly, to team up with Tammy. And that's what we did. So, for you guys who are not, on that call, I want you to give a taste uh, about Tammy's uh, experience and her knowledge. And see, it looks like I saw Tammy's uh, resource, what she has created, and it looks like she was a couple of years, you know, in in, in a cave or whatever, and was just just <laughs> was just collecting information. And I said, Tammy, you have to stop collecting you have to start sharing. So she put everything in an Excel file and we started organizing stuff. So we will weekly, we will give Tammy a couple of minutes 
to show you you the tip of the week. Does some everybody uh, likes that the tip of the week of, of Tammy? No, I see lots of. Woo, that went up fast. <laughs> so let's uh, let's give an applause for Tammy, and I will shut my mouth now. Can you see my screen? Jack? Yeah, I do. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. So, so But I will have muted me, um, so, because I said I... Okay. Yeah, you are good to go. Okay, great. Well, thank you, everybody. Um, my name is Tammy Patzer, or Tamara Patzer. Everybody calls me Tammy. And Jack asked me to give you a tip. So one of the things that I wanted to give you a tip about since everybody in the group has been talking about the emails and we have the good resources of the new Sales Dynamite, we have the local theme jack, we have the lead finder jack software, and there's just a lot of things that we can do. So I'm going to just give you one tip related to email, video, images. And from what Jack shared tonight, I'm really, really excited because this technique using video with email or images with email can be used with anything. It can be used with selling your websites, if you're doing anything with videos or re reviews or reputation, any type of online services can always be enhanced by video and email. So I'm going to show you how to create an email video image to get more client actions. And this has been tested by many high-level gurus, and some of them have reported getting up to 95% open rates, and as you all know, that's pretty much unheard of. The first step is that you're going to want to find a video image of a potential client, and what I did is I went and I, I found this video sample, and the first thing I, I want to have a little disclaimer, do not call any of the people that I use for samples. I just chose them at random, and um, they're for example only, and um, so don't call anybody in these samples. Um, so the first step, find a video image of a potential client. So that's what I did. The second step is that you're going to want to take a screenshot using Jing or some other free screenshot um, software. I like Jing. It's a free software from TechSmith. Not only can you take still images, but you can also use it to make videos up to five minutes long, and it's free, and it has a couple features in it. In the free version, you can do up to five minutes, and they'll also give you some free storage with a link, so you could actually use that link for this process, or I like to use the unlisted feature of YouTube, or you can pay something like $15 a year to get what would be called the, the pro model of Jing. But I like Jing because it's really easy to use. You can snip and save things very quickly. Step three is that you'll want to get a transparent play button for video and use it as an overlay. And I actually found some, and I'll include those in the um, saved up for you so you don't have to go find them yourself. What I found, I found some that was just a play button, and then I found an actual um, transparent image that had a play button and also the little video screen, but I didn't end up using it because it had a timer on it, and I didn't want the people to think that the video was actually nine minutes long. So you have to kind of think about, you know, some of the images. A play button, I think, is 
going to work just as well as having the uh, little image at the bottom that shows the video. So the step four is that you obviously need to put your play button on top of your image and you can do that using any image software. If you have Photoshop, you could do it in Photoshop. I actually did mine using Keynote. I just dropped my image uh, that I took with Jing into my Keynote and then I layered it and put um, drop the button on top of the photo and saved it um, and that worked out great. So again you can use any software or Keynote or PowerPoint to create an overlay and I just made a couple little samples here to show you. Oops. Step five is that you're going to insert your image into an email and I just did a sample uh, in my Gmail and you're going to just copy and paste it into an email so that as you can see here you see what appears to be a video directly in your email and then of course you're going to write a short um, email to someone and there's a couple things I want to point out and you want this to be very personal and a simple subject line that has been proven to work is capital R-E colon Kimberly Puccio, this is this lady's name, video. So first name, last name, the word video. That will grab their attention and then of course the word video will get their attention. And if you've noticed when you get an email, you can actually read like the first like part of the line. So it's very short to the point and very personal. This woman's name is Kimberly and I use that name because that's how she introduced herself in this actual video that I watched about her. And then it's, I made this short video for you. Click on it to watch it. So you're telling them what to do. Then be sure to watch it all the way to the end and you will be surprised. So you're, you're giving them a call to action, telling them exactly what to do. You're instructing them to watch it all the way to the end. And I don't have enough time to tell you what is in the video, but here's a couple ways that you could use can it. I, if can you're I, going can to I, be... Tammy? Yes. I want everybody to take a screenshot, yes. if you can, from this. Because if you see uh, the simplicity from the email, that it has a simple subject line and a simple first name and a simple sentence, and Tom is going to over a little bit uh, later about the results. You know, you, you want to you want to test it out by yourself. And if you make a, right. if you make a screenshot, it's easy for you to uh, recreate it. So I want to just right. give that say that people so that not at the end of the webinar how 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 uh, did it look because you could have make a screenshot. Right, very short. And again, these very, we're, I'm not trying to sell them anything at this point because, again, this is a very short tip, what I'm giving you. And in the future, I'll give you a much more in-depth uh, on what is included in the video. But just to let you know that this is a real video that you will create, that will play, that you will make, that will run between a minute and two minutes, where you'll actually be talking to them about whatever it is that you're going to be selling. And for example, let's talk about if, for example, you used the demo, the Sales Dynamite Jack demo, and, they, and you made that demo for them, Jack is saying you can walk in to these different businesses with that demo in your hand. Well, think about it. What if you wanted to contact 20 people in a day and you made the demo sites and instead of walking into those, you made a one to two minute video and sent them the emails out. And of course you could do this using um, it's, all, it's a results and advanced strategy is what it is because 
you can show them in this video exactly what it is that you could do for them. And just to let you know, the image that is on this video is important. As you see here, I made sure that it had the woman in the image. You want to make sure that the image is of the person you are trying to get a hold of. So I'm making sure that this is an image of Kimberly Puccio here. If it's Dr. Brown, you would make sure that it's an image of Dr. Brown. And I actually used this, um, and, I, and I got a, a, a very large account with a plastic surgeon by using this exact strategy. And I've also used it for pest control, um, AC repair, and plumbers. So think about it. it. It's attractive for almost any niche that you might be going, you know, going after it, you know, from plumbers to doctors. So think about that this is useful not only for websites, but video for any services that you might be trying to sell. So one step back because I really like okay. this, but I wanted to make sure everybody um, understand this. Okay. The prospect does not have to have a video. What you, uh, correct me, no, correct me, correct. Correct me if, I, if I'm wrong. So you're going to find out who you want to prospect. If you know that person name, it can be on Facebook or whatever, that, that image, you grab that image and you show that image like a video. So now, now her, 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 her perceived, what she thinks is, hey, this is a video about me. Because, and of course, of course, we don't want to see you in the video yourself. We don't want to see a video about yourself. It's, you cannot resist to click on that image. Right. Everybody get that idea? Because that is the trick, I think. You know, I'm listening, and I, I saw the presentation, but I, we didn't speak about it. But I think we, you want to understand that the video, what you show, that the image does not need to be a screenshot of YouTube. You know, it just, Correct. you just create that image and... Um, you make them curious about, hey, there's a video about me or for me. And all what you do is the click. And once you have that click, you're going to convert them to a client. And that is, I think, what, what Tommy is going to do now. Right. Well, well you're, you're absolutely right. You can go and in your research, you know, obviously, I don't know about anyone else, but I pretty much try to hand pick my clients. Uh, and if you're using this method, obviously you're 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 probably going to be looking at a different niches. So if you're going for plumbers, it's very easy to find images, you know, from their website, or you can find videos, but an image that appears to be a video. And then you turn this image that you have made to look like a video into a clickable link. So, for example, in my, I noticed that my little red circle uh, moved, but where it says website to what URL should this link go, that's where you would paste in your URL and it could be uh, if you're using the Jing service, the, it'll be a little uh, code that you would paste in. Or if you upload it into your YouTube account, it can be an unlisted video that you can paste in to that slot. And then, of course, that image would turn into a live playable link. And if you notice the little red arrow at the bottom, this is from my Gmail account, and that little link there, if you click on that, that is the box that would open, and you would put in the web address to wherever your video that you're sending them is living. So, so that's 
my, why I use this. Then step seven, again, back to the subject line, it's just the name of the person in a video. So I, I, I want you to understand that simplicity is key with the subject lines. And again, what we're doing by using the person's name, their first name and last name in the word video, is everybody is excited about it. It's all about me. What is this, a video about me? And again, you can use this. You don't have to tell them, I'm going to be talking to you about a website or about videos or about reputation. You're just saying, hey, here's a video about you. And then, of course, when they get into the video, they'll know what it's all about. Step eight, of course, is the writing the short email with a call to action. And again, you're calling them by their first name. And be sure that if you're contacting a doctor or an attorney or, or something, it's always better to call them in a, in a formal, a less formal, informal way like Kimberly or Michael or Mike or Fred or whatever their first name is. Don't call a doctor, you know, dear Dr. Smith, because you want it to be informal and friendly. And in this, um, again, it's this just is RE colon Kimberly Puccio video is my uh, subject line. Kimberly, I made this short video for you. Click on it to watch it. Be sure to watch it all the way to the end and you'll be surprised. If you have any questions, call or email me. Thanks. Tammy Patzer and then I give her my phone number. Step nine, you want to track. And if you're using, I think, Lead Finder Jack as a tracking system, if I'm correct, or you can use Yesware, which is, they'll give you up to 100 free emails. And then Point of Mail is another one that I found. And I, there's other ones, too, like Pig. Or, I, but these two are, are ones I've actually personally used. And they typically, Yesware gives you 100 free emails a month. Point of Mail will give you a seven-day trial. And then they have different um, amounts of money. And again, they're not really expensive, especially if they're helping you to track email. Because think about it, if somebody opens that, and then they look at it, you know, one time, two times, three times, and maybe they forward it to someone. That tells you that they're very interested. So now you, you have a, a warm or a hot lead, and if you pick up the phone and tell, you know, talk to them about it, the odds are that they're going to be very interested in what you have to sell. So for people who don't like to do, you know, cold calling, this is a way to definitely warm up your audience out there to get more business. And I, and I was actually thinking about it that let's say that if I just did 10 emails a day, you know, every day including Saturday and Sunday for 30 days, that would be 300. And what if I only got one client a week? At the end of a year, I'd have 52 clients. So I was like, wow. And then let's say I was only charging them $100 a month. So 52 times 100, that would be $5,200 coming in every month just by consistently sending out 10 emails a day instead of, you know how a lot of us, we, when we're new, we, 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 get, um, we scare ourselves by the possibilities of it all because we try to do too much. But if you just limit it, especially if you're working, because when I first started, I, you know, I was trying to do everything after work or on, in 15-minute breaks or at, during my lunch hour, and I would get overwhelmed by just the thought of, well, I, I need to be doing, you know, 
300 of this and all of this stuff, so I overwhelmed myself. But if you broke it down, you know, to 10 a day and you did it religiously, you, you could have a really good business, you know, within, within a year. I actually did everything consistently. I started in May. And by November, I was able to quit my job. So, you know, that was six months. So it's not something that is that something that not, you know, that everybody should be able to do it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Step 10 is follow up. This is the most important thing that you can do in all of this. And it's the part that 99% of us probably screw up on is we fail to follow up. And sometimes people will put us off a little bit, and they're not saying no. They're just saying not now, and so you have to keep talking to them and following up because at some point they're going to either tell you no or they're going to tell you yes. So you, this is a way you know, to get in, in the door in, in a relatively easy way, and again, consistency is the key. So I'm going to stop with that. This is my first tip, you know, email video images. And here are the resources. So again, Jing is a free service that you can get. Uh, Yesware, you can get up to 100 free tracking emails a month. Point of mail, uh, they give you a seven-day trial. And then, of course, my website is uh, a local ThingJack website that that I am transferring all of my information to. So as you know, I'm a big fan of of Jacks because not only does he give excellent support, but he's constantly upgrading what he has, and and the tools are, I would say, right up there with everything that I've seen and and. Jack was right. I, I have been experimenting and, and applying all this information and stockpiling a lot of knowledge. Um, and he's actually helping me to get it out. <laughs> so I really appreciate that. So do you have any questions? No, I, I, I'm, I'm answering. I think I'm ha uh, halfway, I think. Uh, so do you guys like uh, that? We have the the tip of the week from Tammy. Do you want the guys uh, Tammy back next Sunday? So I ask her to do that, and uh, she's uh... wow. <laughs> well, what I'm excited about because I can suddenly see the questions. When we started, there were like 350 questions. And I can, I'm watching the, the question thing go up, and we're up to 560. Okay, okay, <laughs> you won't. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> and that's just since I started talking, I, and I can't see the questions, but uh, that, that's pretty exciting to see that much activity. So, um, now, so now, if, now you guys understand why I'm so excited to work with Tammy. Because I do think her strategies are simple, they work, and you just have to put a little bit in action to get uh, some new clients. So, so we um, so we decided to go with uh, with our domain name. What was it? Le, I forgot actually. Leads. It was with leads. Lead. Leads master. Jack. Leads. Uh, leads master, and then. Leads Master oh, Pro. Leads Master Pro. I got it. Yeah. No, we didn't put <laughs> Jack in it. Leads good. Master Pro. So that is uh, coming out. So keep tuned. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I'm excited. Um, like I said, when you did the presentation tonight, uh, my, I, you know, I was. I'm glad you couldn't hear me because I was doing the oh my gods and things like that because a lot of the things that I am going to be talking about and training about, we can use, the, again, these great tools 
uh, that, that you've produced. I mean, for example, take this, what I talked about tonight, and think about what you could do with the demo URLs and the, this video strategy with, um, with a results in advance. And, and let's say that you were, let's just use plumbers since that's the one that, that we have. Let's say that you were going to try to work with plumbers and you use this strategy and you made the video and then you could turn it around and you could, you could do the, um, I'm only going to work with one, you know, plumber in this town, so you need to, you know, I, I'm sending this email out to, um, to, to, you know, 10 plumbers, I can only work with one in this town. You could do that type of strategy, or you don't even have to do that type of strategy um, because, you know, they, you're not, you're not trying to tell them that you're going to have them ranked on page one or anything. You're actually just telling them that you're going to create this, a, a fabulous digital asset for them. And that's something somebody, uh, I don't remember where it was, but um, don't worry if the people already have a website because most people's websites are obsolete because even in the last couple years, a lot of things have changed. So, and don't talk to them about websites, talk to them about their digital assets and about growing a massive online presence for them because, again, we're not talking about people just having one website. They really need to have digital assets, especially if, if they're in business and they're trying to uh, be everywhere they can be because you've got um, the connections from the local themes jack, um, not only the website, but then it goes to Google+, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and gives them that big wide presence. So I, I think you know, that's important. Don't get stuck worrying about if they already have a website because they could always use um, an, a lead generation machine, and I think that's what the local theme jacks really are. Um, they're really, you know, they're really good for lead capture. And like my first presentation, if you didn't see it, go watch that and think about how you could present to one person or to a group of people about what a good website should be in the, using the local theme jack as an uh, example. And I was even thinking how I could take the demo URLs and if I know who's, uh, I don't need to know everyone who's in my audience, but even if I knew a few people in my audience, I could go ahead and make a few demos, you know, to hit different uh, niches for an audience that I might have. How cool would that be that they'd be, you know, they'd think I was doing some kind of magic trick to say, oh, by the way, I knew you were going to be in the audience, so I went ahead and made you a demo of, of this uh, website so that you could see what it would look like Does, and maybe choose, Matt, you know, I, I love that different. idea. Does everybody get the idea? Did everybody understand what Tommy just shared? Okay. So... I can talk more about yeah, it at, uh, at another time okay. and actually okay. show, I mean, I'm actually going to be doing a big, um, two, it's actually a two-part workshop um, in a couple weeks um, and one of the two-hour segments, that, that it's like a four-hour workshop that I've broken up, um, I'm actually going to be doing a you know, my presentation about what makes a good website, now I can easily make demos to show those people and, you know, think about it. You, it's almost like all they have to do is come up to you and go, well, I want that. <laughs> you know, you don't have to sell them anything. You're, it's there and you can say, well, if you're interested, talk to me after the presentation. And, you know, it's almost, it, it's so non-salesy because you've just educated them 
but it exists for them, and you did them a favor. So, you know, so it's got all kinds of really cool psychological ram ramifications. You guys don't have headache yet. You have, I think you have three incredible uh, new strategies. You have uh, the wizard, no headache. You have uh, the forum, you have set up, and you have the email in one webinar. You ever joined a webinar with so much content? Oh my goodness, <laughs> there goes the... <laughs> so I want to uh, not burn out Tammy too much. <laughs> and uh, Oh my goodness. The, the, I, this is just one, like, this is one tip. <laughs> I know. I, 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 this is the reality. I, I, I wish I can show it. I, I uh, messaged uh, Tammy, I think it was 4 o'clock, and said, yes. Tammy, uh, what about if you just share one tip? I know it says thousands, so it shouldn't be that too hard. And that we going to introduce, if the members likes it, the tip of the week from Tammy. So this was the first tip. So do you are you guys coming uh, next week for to hear Tammy's uh, tip of the week? Tammy'sTips.com. <laughs> you have to see that. I like I like <laughs> that. Tammy'sTips.com. So I don't, so uh, we are now uh, one hour and, and uh, 50 minutes on the way, and, and, and uh, I think I want everybody to respect the uh, time. I think you got a lot of content. I, I j loved it a lot, and, and you guys came with a uh, – the antennas was really high today, and even I didn't promote hard this webinar. I couldn't promote – have promoted much harder with Tammy's tip. But – as you probably know, you always get uh, good content. Wow, we just need a few more questions and we'll be at 700. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm watching, I'm not kidding, I'm watching these, the numbers. I can't see the questions, but I can see the numbers go click, click, click. click oh, click, click, click. Ed make a good point. <laughs> Thanks, Ed, I love you. So Ed said, what if we could vote Tammy's and my presentation or the Oscar. So now you probably haven't <laughs> seen the Oscar, but how would you vote? <laughs> oh, I love it. That's, that's funny. That's really funny. So I think, Tammy, you won the Oscar. <laughs> oh, well, good. Well, again, I really appreciate being invited, and I really... I, as you all can tell, I'm excited about sharing what I know because I am passionate about the local market and helping local marketers like me because when I started, I fumbled, or seriously, I fumbled around. I spent hours and hours in research. I mean, I used to look things up and, and for example, the, the term reputation marketing did not exist in 2010, um, a lot of a lot of the things that we just take for granted now, like like Lead Finder Jack software, did not exist. Uh, so I had to learn how to think. You know, if you know, if I wanted a new client, how would I go about finding the ideal clients for my services? So. That's where a lot of my information comes from. It was from me having an idea and applying it, and I spent hours and hours of testing and trial and errors and, and a lot of like, oh my God, like when something would work and I did, you know, and it was like, oh my goodness, what did I just do? And then I would backtrack and I'd figure it out, and then I started to look for other people and trainings, and I, and I found that a lot of the things that I have done, other people don't talk about. So I don't know if it's 
because it's the best kept secret, nobody wants to reveal, or if people aren't doing it yet. And I know there's things that, that I was doing five years ago that gurus are just starting to talk about now. So it's, it's interesting to me uh, to see, you know, that maybe I think it isn't all that special, but maybe it is. And, and so we're going to find out. I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay. So thanks, everybody, for voting. Uh, us above any Oscar. <laughs> so, uh, Tammy, I think we need I think, uh, seven more con comments to get to seven hundred questions. <laughs> Oops, there goes one. Five, five more. Come on, four. Come on, we need three more. We'll, 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 we'll be the number seven hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Seven hundred one, seven hundred three. Hey, that is I, really. You cool. said okay, so. The, I, how much is the counter now? 706. 706. 706. 5, 4, 3, 2, 0. Linda. Linda Williams. Linda Williams. You were number 700. The 700 uh, Congratulations. Linda, you this won. Is cool. We have a new Oscar winner. Linda. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. And again, everybody, thank you. And if you have any questions, uh, I'll check the Facebook group. Um, I'll, you know, I'll go check it right after the webinar if you have any direct questions. And I guess this presentation will go up what into the enterprise I, membership area. I haven't decided yet if we do it for oh, everybody okay. or for the enterprise. Uh, I haven't decided. Oh, yet. I see. I think okay. for everybody. Uh, I if, or oh, I have cool. to speak with you, but uh, I haven't. Uh, Oh, it doesn't matter, I, you know, yeah. whatever you decide is okay. fine. So, um, I'm pleased that uh, you guys uh, like so much Tammy. And actually, I learn all the time. So, it's not only uh, for your guys' content, but I learn too. And uh, I, don't, uh, I didn't want to um, hide that or whatever, because I know it's, uh, it's incredible. It's like... It's like, uh, how do you say that? You found a an, an treasure uh, under the sand, and you keep putting the sand, and, and the treasure gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's unbelievable how much, uh, how much Tammy's knowledge has, and uh, we can share it with you. We do it every week, so we, we drip feed it to you guys, so we, you don't get too much headache. <laughs> okay, so with that said, I really appreciate you guys at Tennessee's. It's I I do really I do, and um, I will uh, work on the replay, and I hope to see you coming Tuesday. Uh, thank you so much. And, thank you. And thank, Bye. And thanks, Everybody. Tammy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Anthony, Mike, Todd, Peter, Bob, Linda, Sachi. Let me copy that uh, question quickly. So, if I didn't answer question and it's important, you cannot wait to Tuesday. Just. Uh, uh, put it in Facebook if it is not a support question and it is uh, it's a support question you send a support ticket so keep coming it's going to be the best year of my life yes Mike and it's mine too I really believe that this year is doing well for us both for us all so it's it's exciting so thanks for thanks for that and uh, See you uh, the next uh, training. <laughs>